the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. It's Jamal Bray with AV Nation with an AV Nation special taking a look at the Biamp Parlay VBC uh, systems. With us to discuss uh, the VBC 2500 is Mr. Daniel Reed, product manager for Biamp. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Tim. Absolutely. Absolutely. So one of the things that uh, you guys sent me um, a Parlay VBC 2500, uh, I had never used one before. Uh, I had taken it out of the box. And one of the things that I was struck by was the launch software. So really quickly, explain uh, the launch software and, and how it helps integrators uh, and AV users. Sure, certainly. So the uh, Biomp launch software is an automated uh, setup and tuning process that we first debuted in our Tessera Forte uh, X series products. Um, you may have recalled that from a couple of years ago. And uh, what Launch does is it really uh, provides this automated uh, setup experience for our integrators. So instead of having to go through and uh, create a bunch of configurations, create a bunch of tunings, um, do a bunch of handheld measurements of spaces, uh, the launch process at the push of a button will do all of that automatically. It will measure the uh, acoustic performance of the space and appropriately set the processing and the product to tailor, be tailored for that space. All right, very cool. So without releasing or revealing any uh, any secrets uh, or anything that is uh, protected, roughly, how does it work? Basically, what we're doing is we're using the uh, microphone technology that we have and the speaker technology and all of our processing that you've been familiar with for decades from Biamp. And we're putting all of that together um, to create this automated experience. And the way that works is we're effectively emitting a bunch of tones and chirps and test signals into the room. Uh, similar to the sort of way that we've been doing it for a long time with a bunch of handheld tools and whatnot. Um, and we, we do it all automatically in the system at a push of a button. So we're testing the room for things like the RT60 time. And we're producing a, a graph and a measurement of the full frequency performance of a room. And then we're looking at that, that result and then automatically applying processing parameters. And it's not just RT60. We're looking at things like noise floor, noise criterion, uh, a bunch of other things like that. And really quickly, I, I want to point this out. You, you said a couple things there, but I, I want to make sure that people understand this. This is out of the box, right? You, you, you push a button and this kind of auto magically happens. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, in our, in our Tessera Forte X product, you know, we're able to automatically detect devices on the network and set them up automatically. Um, at the push of a button, it does all of that for you. Um, yeah. And one of the cool things about that is that it's consistent every time. So. Uh, no matter your level of training, if you've been doing this for five days or five years, um, you're going to have a great result with it. And it lets our integrators get these rooms deployed quicker and move on to the next space faster. Um, and we've taken that technology and we've honed it in our, our Tessera product line and we brought it into the Parlay, uh, Parlay conferencing bar line. You said something there about it, you know, whether you've been working on in AV for five minutes or five years. That's all right, are also incredibly important when you're talking to integrators as well as users, whether they're in IT or in their higher ed, they can bring along a, a pretty inexperienced tech and show them how to do this and get them up and running and, and start uh, deploying uh, deploying rooms pretty quickly. So that, that's incredibly important as well. Mm -hmm. um, talk for a second about the beam tracking, uh, the, the track and mix and, and why that's such a big deal. Parlay bars you utilize the same beam tracking technology that we've had in our Parlay uh, microphones, so our pendant ceiling table microphones that we've had for a long time. Um, these use the same technology, so all that good stuff from Tessera and Debio is inside of this product. Um, and inside of the uh, Parlay conferencing bars, we create three beam tracking zones, and we do that with uh, 27 microphone elements. Now, one of the cool things about that is in a lot of microphone array systems, especially in bar products, is they don't really have great elevation control or tight beams, and they don't necessarily have that across the full spectrum of audio as well. So what we're able to do is, utilizing that platform, we can create three very tight beams, full spectrum tight beams across the whole spectrum. So if you look at the uh, polar pl pattern uh, in our data sheet for the product, you'll see that it's very tight across the full spectrum. And what that really produces, um, ultimately, is a very natural conversational experience. It, the audio doesn't sound thin, it sounds full and rich, and it provides uh, you know, just more natural, effective communication. 
really quickly because you, you said you know when, when you're talking about the, the the sound is full and rich both from the the far end in other words if you and i are talking on uh you know, through a, a bc platform or what have you you know you, me hearing you the meaning the speaker part is, is is really really rich but also you hearing me meaning that that pickup pattern uh is also equally uh, as rich you know that that's also incredibly important not for the folks in, in the room but for the folks that they're on you know on a call with uh, absolutely um when you guys looked at, at, at the the vbc and specifically the, again the one that i had in in my hands was the the parlay vbc 2500 um where do you see it really uh re really kind of uh hitting a home run like when 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 you guys envisioned this or or maybe it's it's where you're seeing it being deployed the most and the most successfully yeah so certainly so kind of what we were looking at here is you know uh Biomp for a, a long time here has had a lot of great solutions for large and customized uh, meeting spaces, right? Um, a pretty wide, wide, wide uh, array of products there. Um, but what we found is a lot of our integrators tend to kind of skip past um, these smaller and medium spaces, um, right? And uh, so what we looked at here was, okay, let's make a product that brings all of the great things about a large integrated meeting space, all the high quality experiences you get in there, right? the full bandwidth audio, the, the echo cancellation, the noise reduction, all those things. And let's bring that into a small form factor product that we can deploy into small and medium spaces. Um, and really, it's part of our ongoing mission uh, to support the uh, AV channel and being a, a full solution provider for an enterprise. So whether we're talking a, a small huddle room or you know a, a corporate all hand space, we want to make sure that our, that our partners and integrators have a solution for every room. Mm -hmm. So really, the Parley VBC 2500 um, and the ABC, the audio bar version of that, are targeted towards what we call the small and medium meeting spaces. All right. Uh, as we wrap up here, uh, Daniel, uh, give me kind of a, 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 an overarching view of, of, of when you talk to engineers or even talk to, to end users that are that are looking to, to put this in, you know, what do you guys um, suggest um, when they're designing a system? How, how would you put the, the, the Parlay VBC 2500 in, in the middle? The way we can do that is we have a pretty easy tool in our cornerstone knowledge base. We have a, de a design tool, um, and it, that's been there for years now and to help customers pick the right Parlay microphone, and we've extended that recently to include our conferencing bars. Okay. So they can go to that tool, and they can see the conferencing bar as an option to pick from in there, and that will give you the pickup range for the microphone and the pickup range for the camera. And what that allows uh, customers to do is kind of draw their space out so they can draw it by dimensions and they can place their table and chairs. And then they can see which product is going to work best for that space. So that's one of the best ways to do it, I think. When you talk about the, the, the pickup area and the pickup pattern, you know, why is that important both from the video uh, side but also from the audio side? Why is the pickup area important? You know, as awesome as our products are, physics still exists, unfortunately, as much as we'd like to break it. <laughs> but... Um, the, so there's there's going to be a limit to the distance you can put uh, the furthest person in a conference room from the microphone uh, array, and our calculator takes care of all that that math for you and kind of just shows you a nice gradient of where the pickup is going to be uh, optimal. Um, so it well covers uh, you know up to medium meeting spaces. So that's roughly in the neighborhood of 11 seats or so. Uh, Daniel Reed, uh, product manager for Biamp. We appreciate the time. Uh, if somebody wants to find out more about Biamp or the Biamp Parlay VBC 2500, where do they go? Please visit Biamp.com and there's a link at the top of our page for the conferencing bars. Click that to learn more. Very good. And we'll put a, a direct link to uh, the VBC 2500s on this episode's page as well. All right, Daniel Reed, thank you so much. Uh, for us, for Aviation, go by our website, aviation.tv. It's aviation.tv. You'll find more interviews like this on the website. All that and more at aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv.